Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jennifer C. at HomeLifeCultureLink.com Nino Saimeka at MortgageGodfather.ca and Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regine Elena, this This is is The the Sit Down Down with with Scott Scott Dion Dion Brown. <laughs> well, 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 well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to a slightly late start of uh, the sit down with Scott Dion Brown. Apologies, everybody, for uh, for a later start. We had some technical issues. I don't know what was happening. First, one thing didn't work, and then something else didn't work, and then that thing caused something else to not work. And I just had to restart everything and start again, but we seem to now be working. And it's a gray, rather gloomy day in the city of Toronto. It's cloudy, and it looks like rain could start at any moment, but you know what? We're here. We're here. Episode 92. I am your host, Scott Dion Brown, and uh, I'm joined, as always, by the greatest co-host in the galaxy ladies and gentlemen the one the only regina lena happy sunday everyone um and welcome to episode 92 it's crazy how how fast the episodes have been flying by us and it's also crazier how you're starting to become a weatherman (laughs) yeah it's sort of starting to become my thing right because i'm sitting here and it's like (laughs) We get started and then I take a look outside and I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's, uh, it's nice out there. But, um, <laughs> 92 episodes, Regine, 92 Ooh. episodes. It's funny how, because how are you doing? How was your, oh yeah. yeah. I'm good. I was just going to say, it's funny how we always start the show being like, wow, I can't believe how many episodes it's been. But seriously, the higher the number gets, the more unbelievable it seems. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like next week, it's going to be 93 episodes. No way. And the week after that is 94. <laughs> 94. Can you believe it? 94 oh episodes two weeks from now? That's yeah. crazy. We, gotta do, we do have to do... It's very... We, we do have to do something as special for the 100th, though. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I don't know should, what. Should we do an, a, a little indie race? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, we'll figure just something kidding. out. We'll figure something yeah. out. Hey, Samuel Winkler. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Welcome to the show. And uh, I think we got a few other people in the chat as well, don't mm-hmm. we? Um, let me just take a look. I want to make sure I greet everybody who's here and people who were here earlier as well. We've got Skullboy Gamer. How are you, Skullboy? He's What's been on for on? a while. Hi, Romina. Beautified by Romina. KTC Asmome is in the chat as well. Maria Brown. Hey, good morning, Mama. And, uh, and uh, all of you guys who are tuning in, hello. Hello to you all. Um, Regine, how was your week? My week was good. Um, had a few job interviews, which was exciting. Uh, definitely trying mm. to keep my Sundays open so that Scott still has a co-host after this pandemic. Um, what else did I do? I Okay, I finally hit a roadblock of what kind of videos I actually want to put on my YouTube channel. Like you're not, you mean you're like, you're not sure what you want to make? Um, Yeah, like I'm not sure the direction that I want it to go to like I have all these ideas in my head of what I want To put out there, but then at the same time. I'm like, but is that really what I want to do? Yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, that's true. There's so many there's so much different uh, Types of content on uh, on YouTube. You can kind of really choose Anyone but uh, it's a matter Mm -hmm. of yeah, what you feel passionate about. Well, um if there's anybody in the chat who has any suggestions <laughs> for uh, what Regine should do on her sh- on her channel, let or any know. types of videos you'd like to see, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the stuff you've been making has been good. I mean, you've been uh, you know reviewing some foods, doing a lot of makeup type things. Yeah. Um, those have been good. Do you think you want to continue to do that sort of stuff or change it up? See, that's the thing. I, I have like all these ideas of what I want. A few of them are reviewing stuff. A few of them are just a whole other whole other 
type of content. So I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do all of it and just be like, this is me in a nutshell. <laughs> Deal with yeah, it. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I would almost suggest, yeah, just kind of do, do it all. Because the thing mm -hmm. is, especially, you know, you're in the early stages and uh, a lot of times you, you won't even really know what will catch on. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Maybe so, our guests will be able I'll, to help figure it out. Yeah, maybe just they just <laughs> might. In fact, maybe, maybe, maybe we should, uh, we should, we should meet them, Regine. We can't after we you finish should. your thoughts. Sorry, I totally cut you off. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Well, I was gonna say was uh, I, I can't even really remember. It was just basically that because you're still at the early stages of the of the channel, um, I think you're better off just if you have an idea, put it out there because mm -hmm. you might find that you know people will. You'll make a video that maybe you just sort of made for fun or whatever, um, but it might appeal to people in a certain way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, and you didn't even realize how responsive it would be, and then th that might encourage you to continue down that route. So you could almost put out what you feel like putting out, and then uh, and sort of uh, l let let your let the audience reaction almost help guide you a little bit. Here's one thing I want your thoughts on, and the viewers and our guests. Should I put out a video of me shaving off my fiance's beard? Because I really want to. I mean, I. <laughs> I, really I, I want feel to. like. Well, I, I think the fact that you really want to is enough of a reason to but do does it. And also, he I think want it would be very. Me too. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's its own. That's its own question. But uh, uh, but you know, there's definitely that could be an appeal because I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> have to uh, you know coming out of this 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 pandemic situation who have been going home and starting to reopen and things everybody's got the long hair everybody's got the beard everybody's got their their covid look so i mean he's been growing it for two years you think he'll let me shave it off oh well. does he trust has he me talked about wanting to <laughs> well has he talked about wanting to shave it off or is that something you want him, want him to do it's more on what i want but we'll see uh -huh. <laughs> well i could say i i think uh if anybody i think it would be entertaining Let's, that. <laughs> Let's see what our guests have to say. Let's bring them on because I know they're patiently waiting. <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> let's do <Sorry>. that. <laughs> Sorry, T went down the. <laughs> T went down the wrong hole. <laughs> oh. Learn how to drink. Tea My goodness, <laughs> it's only been ninety-two yes. weeks. You've For... been drinking tea. Come on. <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. I'm still learning how these cups. How does how does how does one drink? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Um, why don't you introduce our guests, Regine? Do you want to introduce them? I will do a quick intro since I'm sure they'd like to introduce themselves. So our sure. group, our, our group, our guests are one of the newest girl groups in Toronto, if not the world of music. Um, they focus on hip hop and R&B. They are young. They are talented. They are beautiful. They are the group LRC. Hey guys! It's Hello. Scott, they have an intro. Stop. Oh, they're gonna do again. it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay, do your intro. Do your intro. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Victoria. I'm Cassia. I'm Altea. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're LRC. Hi. Hey, there we go. <laughs> now you can. Hi guys. Them. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for your patience. Um, I I know uh, like we were supposed to start at eleven, and the plan was to start right at eleven, and then. I don't know. Weird technical glitch happened with uh, with the software, so it couldn't work. But um, thank you guys for uh, hanging out and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so Regine, like you introduced them as they're kind of a fairly new group, right? So, how long do, have you guys formed recently? How long have you guys uh, been together? Um, well, we formed during the pandemic, um, and. Then after when we were allowed to hang it, like go in groups, we started recording our first cup. Awesome. So awesome. Very recent. <clears throat> That's yeah. really cool. But during that time, we would uh, like FaceTime and talk to each other. But it was like really hard because it kept like uh, and stuff. It's like really hard mm -hmm. to in a group during this pandemic, especially when we weren't allowed to see each other. Because when we were trying to practice like on like FaceTime, it was like very laggy and like just didn't really work out. Oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We know. Yeah, I can imagine it's it's hard to uh sing music over cuz there's always that slight delay, right? When you're when you're doing online talking. So I imagine if with music playing, you can't really sing together without it sounding a little bit funny. So that's how that goes. But uh so have you guys been 
so you just started working on your newest song and it's coming out soon, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That's and awesome. I saw that you guys were also a part of the Diversity Festival yesterday. Mm -hmm. How was that? Um, it was really fun to film and we performed three songs and mm -hmm. it was a good opportunity. Yeah. So the world is now learning who you guys are. But mm -hmm. our question is, what does LRC stand for? Well, it's basically all our last names. So for the L, it's Sarah's last yeah, name. Last her name, name is Lake. Yeah, um, R is her last name. My last name is Ronald, though. And ours are both C's, so instead of putting two C's, we just put one, and mine's mm -hmm. Co. And mine is Gahandi. Nice. It could have been LRCC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make it short. Yeah, we don't want it to make it like, too long. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. It gives you I guys like a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an, and it's it's pretty catchy. It's nice, short, and 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 a, and sweet. Um, what's the uh, so again? It's a, it's a fairly new group, but um, what vision do you have for the group? What kind of music do you guys want to create? What kind of uh, what's what's the what's the goal? What's the plan? Um, well, we do sing pop and R and B. Um, we are working on originals. Um, we only did one cover so far, and it's coming out today. So oh. if you go to music, you can find it on all platforms. Just follow our social media. And yeah, we're hoping to record covers and originals in the future with the pop and R&B style and maybe even more in the future. Nice. Who's your inspiration in terms of R&B and um, pop celebrities? Well, individually, we all have like this, our idol, our like person we want to like be like, be like basically. Yeah. So we look up to. Mm -hmm. Me yeah. and Victoria's would be Ariana Grande. She's like, she models, she acts, she sings, and she's just such a. She's overall just like a. a, a, a yeah. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Her vocal range is just amazing. Yeah. And a great. Oh yeah. Her. Yeah. <laughs> and also, she sings all kind of all kinds of like genres, like yeah, of music, like um, R and B, pop. Even sometimes she sings with rappers, which yeah. is really cool. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you would say she's your she's probably your your biggest inspiration. You think? Do you guys, um, like you said, you each individually have uh, your own people you like to listen to? If you want, you can tell us each of you. Like, um, let's get to know each of you a little bit individually. So, who are artists that you each individually look up to? I like Khalid and Pokemon. Um, nice. Yeah, I like Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Um, for me, probably one of my like vocal inspirations are like Selena Gomez because she started her career very young, mm -hmm. and actually, I think she started like through acting and like I do acting. So like I think just like really cool how like she started in acting and then had a huge pop career. Selena Gomez was on Barney, wasn't she? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like the perp. The purple dinosaur Barney? Yeah, so she was one of those kids that were Barney's friends. She wasn't the actual dinosaur. Don't worry, Scott. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that would that would have been impressive, actually. Uh, Selena Gomez got her start earlier playing the role of Barney the dinosaur. That awesome. would have been a... Wasn't Barney really tall? He is tall, yeah. Isn't Barney still so, around? Like, imagine if... I don't know. I don't know. I should ask I my siblings. Barney retired. Poor Barney. <laughs> He's extinct. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think a young Selena Gomez, that would have been a giant suit for her to wear. <laughs> Maybe she was the green dinosaur. What was her name? Baby Bob or something like that? <laughs> I think it was <laughs> Baby Bob. I think it was Baby Bob. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Anyways, back to you guys. <laughs> are you sure you want to just keep talking about Barney? We could just keep talking I could. About you know, no, I... Good. I, okay, fun fact. I was a huge Barney fan until I was eight. So, like, <laughs> I can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Poor. All Tell right, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we won't. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll next keep, time. You know, maybe we, we, next, we, next time. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> well, so this new uh, cover that you guys are releasing—it's coming out today. Do you think we should uh, give it a listen? Sure. Yeah. All right. If you guys, why don't you, why don't you tell us a little bit about it before we, uh, we, before we hear it? Well, we basically remade the whole song and the whole instrumental, so now it's nice. more like a hip hop and R and B style. Um. And yeah. What song is it? A Selfish by Madison Beer. Cool. All right. Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to Selfish. 
by LRC. And that was Selfish by L.R.C. Guys, that sounded really good. Very good. Yeah. I really like the harmonies. Mm -hmm. um, really, really soothing and uh, and well. Or who? Um, so how do you guys go about sorting out the harmonies and, and uh, producing and arranging everything? Um, well, different voices. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, when we listen to the song, we like. We listen to it over and over again, like memorize all of the lyrics, even though we that's not our parts. We still have to memorize all of the songs so we can discuss our parts, like which part we want to sing. And sometimes we would just sing harmony and we would be like, oh yeah, that's a good harmony. You can do that <laughs> you're saying it. And then, yeah, there's like higher harmony and high harmony and low harmony and lower harmony. So maybe there's a lot of harmony we discussed. Yeah. It's awesome. Cool. Yeah, well, it's, it sounded really, really good. Thank um, you. Yeah, I like it. Um, so you guys are, you've started now creating original songs as well. Like those are on the way, I guess. Um, or yeah. how's that coming? We're working on new material and follow our social media, which we'll let you know. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cool. <laughs> so as you're creating it, how, how have you found... Um, 
what's the what's the process like? Because if you're a fairly new group, I guess there's probably a, a period where you're figuring out like wh where's who's stronger at what, and like what's the what's the actual creative process being like of creating original music together as a group? Well, we all like create music of our own. Like mm -hmm. Korea came out with a lot of original <laughs> already. Yeah. So, so for all of us, it's not that hard. Like, because we all have experience writing songs. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we all have like our own yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. So do you find, do you find, depending on the song, because each of you have created songs on your own, do you find like uh, one of you will sort of have an idea, like say, say you're say it's time to create a song does one of you come forward with a general idea and everybody else kind of gives input or do you create the entire song kind of um from the ground up together or or how does it how do you yeah, what does it work we all like have our own ideas and then we just put it in like one song yeah but like before we like figure out a theme that we want the song to be about mm -hmm. and then, yeah yeah nice mm -hmm. awesome well, uh, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing where it comes from because yeah, I mean that that uh, cover of Selfish you guys just did. I mean, it's, it's really, really, good. really really nice. Thank yeah, you. it's a really nice preview of I think sort of where you guys are going to be uh, taking things. So I'm I'm looking forward to hearing what the original music will be. Do you have an idea timeline for when it'll be released or when it's uh, when it's coming or not yet? Uh, right now we're just like working on writing them. We're just working on writing them and. We only have a specific date or month for when to release it, but we're just working on material. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, oh, and I guess I know you mentioned off the top before we played it. Sel so Selfish comes out today, right? So where can where are all the places that people can find it? Um, you can find it on all our social media at LRC. And on all on platforms. platforms. Yeah, media yeah, platforms, platforms at LRC. LRC. Just LRC. Yeah, yeah. all caps. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Okay, yeah. So search LRC on all platforms, and mm -hmm. uh, you will find that song, "Selfish." And uh, make sure you add it to your uh, playlist. Add it to your playlists, people. Add it to your playlists. Um, so, how has uh, you know? I mean, you guys obviously formed a brand new music group during this pandemic, but um, how has life been under a pandemic for you guys, either individually or? Like, what's it been like? How, is, how have things really changed for you guys? Well, since we're in like quarantine and this pandemic is happening, we mostly do virtually like we're doing right now. Um, mm -hmm. And also like we have individually vocal lessons. So we would do that. We would practice our songs, like selfish. We would practice individually our parts. Then we would come to a studio and record that and also yeah um when we're together we would always practice our songs like over and over again so we can perfect it <laughs> yeah, we well you definitely perfected it <laughs> we have like a schedule for the day and like what we have to do that day mm -hmm. and then what we have to do and like day. we always plan beforehand like we don't just like yeah like you know? hey you want to meet up sure <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were always like working on our songs and it was really hard like while the pandemic was happening and everyone was in self-quarantine. But um, once we were allowed to see each other in smaller groups, it was better because then we could really focus mm -hmm. and like hear our mistakes and be able to fix them. And then recording was amazing and recording for the Diversity Fest was great. But you know, it kind of sucks that we can't have live performances. Mm -hmm. of it, yeah. But we're waiting. Yeah, we hope this goes away <laughs> soon. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So you guys started a girl group in the midst of a pandemic, like we've been saying. What made you guys come together and join, like, collab together? Well, we're, we're all friends, and we all were friends for over two years. And mm -hmm. our voices really suit each other. We all have different and unique voices, and they blend really well together. And we're kind of just like, hey, maybe we should start a group. It might go somewhere. We all share love of music, and, you know, it was, it was a great idea. Awesome. Cool. Well, you know, it's it's uh, an interesting thing because I think I've heard a lot of people have uh, kind of used this sort of downtime that we've had to become creative. So in a lot of ways, it makes sense um, that, you know, you're using this time to kind of try something new and, and, and spread your wings creatively. So uh, some people, you know, write sitting down and writing that book or finishing that project they're working on and other people 
you know, start, start, a, <laughs> start a brand new girl group. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is kind of sucky. Yeah, it's that, that you're not able to perform live yet. I mean, I know I, I miss that the most as well. You can't get on a stage. You can't, uh, I don't know. It's probably going to be a long, uh, a long while. You guys said you're doing um, vocal lessons on your, so I guess are those online vocal lessons? So like yeah. you, you have yeah. a coach. What's, what's that like? How, how is it doing online vocal lessons? Um, well, yeah, it, we have individually like coaches, mm -hmm. like I have, um, a vocal coach who I used to go to without this pandemic at her house. We would, she has a piano. So we would do like vocal lessons and practice songs. Like I'm sure every other girl has that too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty difficult cause it lags a lot. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah singing my song, she would sing at the same time and like it would go uh, uh... And then, like she's in one spot and then she's in the other. I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's really laggy. Yeah. It's really hard. Yeah, I mm -hmm. started doing like in person book lessons that puts me apart. And it's like so much better because like no legginess and like <laughs> so it's like great. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not I haven't been a huge fan of the online stuff. Like I've had to do um I've had to do a couple acting auditions over Zoom. Yeah. And uh yeah, I don't like it. It's hard to uh it's hard to gauge like so, I've done things where yeah, so they're like, okay, yep, you have you have your audition at this time, go into the Zoom call, and they're like, okay, you're on with the director and go. And the thing is, it's it's weird to gauge <laughs> their reaction to you because you're looking into a camera. It's so it's just a uh, yeah, it's 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 cool that we can do it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But uh, we make do, I guess. We do our best. But, mm -hmm. you know, things are starting to reopen though. Mm -hmm. I mean. Although I haven't gone, Re Regina, have you started going out again, like anywhere? Or to restaurants I, I, or I've done patios, um, but I try to go to ones that are not in such common busy areas. Um, and it yeah. seems to, just to get that sense of normalcy again, um, like I'm huge on going to concerts in the summer. And when I saw Budweiser post yesterday being like, we miss you too. Like it literally hit my heart and I was like, oh, <laughs> miss concert yeah. life. But, um, and then the Cider Festival posted this week and I'm like, oh, can't believe we were there last year and now there's nothing. But I mean, yeah. we got to I mean, do what we got to do to keep things safe and not have a phase two. So, yep. Some events have switched to online festivals, but, uh, I don't think Cider Fest would be able to do, um, no. an online version. No. It would be mostly everybody going like. Okay, everybody, order all the cider and drink it at home, which is pretty much what everyone's doing already, I guess. So, mm -hmm. but that's not really a festival. I no. Guess. Um, and so, you guys were just in Diversity Fest, and that was an online one. Is that what that was? Yeah, we had to film it, and um, we had to film it, and then send it to them, and then nice. Yeah, cool. are you guys part of any other virtual festivals coming up? Mm -hmm. Um. Not, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're hoping. Yeah, not yet. Awesome. I mean, I definitely like the idea of that. I like that festivals are doing it. It's a way to sort of keep things going. But I mean, what I found is like I've been in a couple of virtual festivals. Actually, I'm going to be another one a little bit later. It's, but it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like a performance. You yeah. Because like the. You know, first of all, I'm, you know, the, as a performer, you're performing for a camera and it's not really performance. You're doing it in advance and you send it and they add it in and everything. So you're still really missing that, that real audience give and mm -hmm. take that happens when you're actually doing it live. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, they're making the best of it. They're making the best of what they can do with. Oh, there's mm -hmm. some people in the chat, I guess, saying hello. I'll just say hi to them. Um, Les McKenzie. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Les McKenzie. What's going on? Um... Evans Kipling is in the chat. Oh, he asked. I mean, <laughs> probably, probably. He was like, "Who is the best singer of all four? I think they're all pretty good singers. They're there, Evans. That's why they yeah. all. Yeah, that's why that's they why all form all a group together. Yeah. There's um, no Beyonce psychics. in this group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, psychics. Hey, Scott. Hey, Psychics. Welcome to the stream. No can too. How are you, Scott? It's me. How are you? Welcome. We are sitting here uh, interviewing and chatting with uh, LRC. So uh, welcome, guys. And yeah, if you guys have any questions for the group, feel free to ask, and uh, and we will uh, we will ask away. 
Um, so outside of creating music, um, are there any new hobbies or things you found that this pandemic has you found yourself doing because of the pandemic? Anything new you've started doing or watch shows or anything like that? You girls just seem so busy. I see your Instagrams. <laughs> I've just been like writing more songs and like it's just I don't know I just like since there's nothing to do I mean like why not just write songs <laughs> yeah how yeah. about the other girls um well <laughs> I have like I when I was in school I would always play cards with my friends and that was like a year ago and I would like I'm I was always busy I would never like hang out with my friends anymore because um I would be out sometimes, but now that I'm with my family, I would always play cards with them. I, do you guys know the game um, Crazy Eight? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I would play that. It's like I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I started like baking more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like. I, I love baking now. It's so fun. Um, yeah, and I I started to go to like my cottage more and like spend time with my family since you can like spend. I started skateboarding. Oh, um, nice. I like hurt myself and <laughs> then I stopped for a little bit. I was like really inspired. Like I watched this whole like 80s skating movie and then I fell here. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I can't do that trick and fell. But you know. Okay. You're trying, you're trying. You'll get there. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. So everybody's everybody's taking on some new uh, hobbies. Skateboarding, eh? I was never able to do skateboarding. I tried a couple times when I was younger, but I, I, I just, it wasn't something I ever felt comfortable uh, doing. I had a skateboard you, you, too, actually. Oh, really? My my mom bought me good? one from a garage. No, my mom bought me one from oh. a garage sale, and outside of her house, there's like this little. It's not even a steep hill, but it's like it's steep enough. And my friends would come over, and they all had skateboards. So I was like, "Guys, watch me!" And I fell. So I was like, "Forget it. I don't want this anymore." <laughs> it's, um, I mean, you can get well. Obviously, you get really, really good at it. But I think it's hard. I, I was never able to fully grasp and like, how do I stay? How do I stay on this without falling, flying off? <laughs> yeah. It's just all about the balance. Yeah, you know, good balance. Yeah. So Sarah, yeah. you have good balance. You... <laughs> um, I mean, kind of. I kind of learn tricks, but since like stuff are opening now, it's like I'm a little more busy than like when quarantine was like fully quarantined, like couldn't even like, step out of your house. Mm -hmm. so, I haven't done it in a while yeah. after myself, but I might start doing it again. <laughs> so it is fun. Cool. Yeah, that's the thing. Things are starting to get um, like to reopen. Like I know mm -hmm. when obviously there was. Like I remember, there was a, a couple weeks where you go outside and the streets are literally deserted, and there was there there was nothing like rush hour or anything. You could just you could just walk around and and there's nobody anywhere. Like the city's empty. Now um, it's but that's busy. Kinda past. Yeah, it's kind of past now. Yeah, like the uh, and like yeah, like work has happened. I know, like I've been um, film set, sets have started opening. Actually, I was on set last night. Regina, I was on set last night. Actually. Wow. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, what am I, was, I talking about? Today's Sunday. Two nights ago, I was on set on Friday. <laughs> Friday. I was like, wait, what? Awesome, that's cool. Yeah. How is, did you get your dessert again? <laughs> I did. In fact, you know what they had? Um, they had a, uh, on set they had like a crepe food truck. Cause so, so we were filming outdoors, Ooh. so they had like trailers and stuff. And yeah, they had like a food truck where you could walk up and just order a crepe and they just made it for you. And I had one with strawberries and um, mm. raspberries and ice cream. Girls, I don't know if you, you, I don't know if you know this. So Scott, as you guys know, is an actor, but he only goes on set for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of my favorite parts. One of my favorite parts of being on set is the free food. You get lots of free food, so it's it's quite nice. Um, Psychics asks, although you guys talked about it already, but uh, if you want, you can sum up or go bit, go into a bit more detail. But he asks, how did the group form? So I know you guys were friends already. So was there like a, a specific conversation that happened or like how did it how did it exactly come about that you would become a, a group? Well, we're just like all like really close and I just feel like like when we sing together we just like feel like it can be a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we we bond when we sing and like we bond more. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to explain it but like 
when we sing, like there's a big connection that we yeah. have. And we could always see ourselves in a group. <laughs> yeah. So. And like I was talking about before, like how like COVID is like something to like try something new. We were like, why not? I'm like now, try something new. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So are you guys planning to be like the next Spice Girls or the next <laughs> Cheetah Girls, or you just want to be your own, your own girl group? Well, yeah. <laughs> like, um, we all have different styles. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm more like retro, kind of. Um, Cassie is more like sporty, so yeah. it's kind of Sarah. Like, she skateboards, so like <laughs> she has like her own style, like but in yeah, she's really trendy, and Victoria's more like fancy and like yeah. bougie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's bougie. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, do you guys have like your classy ratchet savage? <laughs> like you? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, I guess individual personalities will eventually come out as the as the mm -hmm. as the group slowly finds its feet and finds its personality and stuff. Um, so is the plan, so is your Create Your Original Music, is it going to be, are you going to release them like sort of one single at a time or is it, are, do you guys want to do an album or uh, like what's the, uh, what's the plan? We want to do an album. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, planning, we're, we're definitely we're planning, planning to do Yeah, an we're planning to do an album in the future, but for now I just feel like we're just going to do like original stuff. Yeah, yeah. we're working on originals. Singles. Awesome. Singles, yeah. Cool. That's fun. Lots more, lots more coming down the pipeline from mm -hmm. LRC. Um, I think it's been about 30 minutes. Yeah, Regine? Yeah. I think it has. So maybe we should do the ad break and then we'll come back with more from LRC. Hey, Regine, today's episode of the sit down with Scott Dion Brown um, was brought to you all by some very important people, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they are, of course, uh, the following uh, fantastic advertisers. Um, fantastic. Hey, hey, exactly. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Regine. Yes, Scott. Do you want to find out what your home is really worth? Sure. <laughs> are you buying or selling a home? I could be. Then Jennifer C., realtor at Home Life Culture Link, is here to help. Call or text Jennifer today at 647-403-8887. Don't deal with just anyone. Mm -mm. Speak to a professional. Jennifer C. at Home Life Culture Link. To see her current listings, visit homelifeculturelink.com. Mm -hmm. The Mortgage Godfather is here to give you advice with any mortgage needs you may have. And he will shop to find you the best mortgage. Uh -huh. Nino Saimeka, mortgage agent. He'll give you an offer you can't refuse. He'll give you an offer you can't refuse. Uh -huh. <laughs> Find out more at mortgagegodfather.ca or call 905-604-6955. And it was brought to you by Jewelry Forever. Conveniently located at CF Markville Shopping Center on 5000 Highway 7 East Markham. They do custom made jewelry, repairs, and change watch batteries all done on site. Jerry is an absolute artist when it comes to custom jewelry. If you have mm -hmm. a vision, he will help you realize that vision in beautiful, shiny form. And we have an amazing deal worked out with them, don't we, Regine? Yes, we do, you guys. If you go in and tell Jerry that Scott and Regine sent you, He'll give you guys 15% off. And if you go there today, please tell him happy birthday. Oh, is it his birthday? Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Jerry. Um, yes, go on in 15% off, 1-5%. Tell them Scott and Regine sent you and get yourself something nice. And the place is open as things have reopened. They've got special safety measures in place. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can go there with the peace of mind, put on your mask, go on in there and get something Gorgeous. Yeah. And I believe they're also doing giveaways on their Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. Go to their Instagram. Follow Jewelry Forever on Instagram. I'll let them and, know uh, Scott and Regine like... sent you. <laughs> sure. Let them know Scott and Regine sent you as well. And uh, and uh, yeah, you could win yourself some a beautiful. I, ple I believe they're giving away a Brian May custom watch, which is really, really cool. Ooh. So uh, 
go check it out. And uh, if you would like to advertise on the show, very easy, isn't it, Regine? <laughs> it's so simple. All you guys have to do is email us at radio show ad. That's radio show ad at gmail.com. That's right. Get in touch. We do the show live every Sunday, just like we are right now. What does that mean? It means that you can personalize the ads week to week. Do you have an event coming up? Do you have a specific thing happening at a specific time or place, a sale mm-hmm. of some kind? You let us know. We let the people know in real time. Um, and it opens you up to a brand new potential client base. It's incredible. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Get in touch. Radio <laughs> Show AD, Radio Show Ad at gmail.com. Yes. And uh, and we're back. We're back. Regina. Yes. Hello. Okay. I also want to just ba- point out that the yeah. photo you guys just saw of us wearing our t-shirts, I swear we have other clothes than just a sit-down t-shirt. <laughs> I don't. I don't have any other clothes. I mean, I do. I don't know about you. This is all I wear. <laughs> I have it this shirt. Is. This that is my blazer. only shirt that I ever wore. And this blazer. I, I don't ever take it off. Here's just, the thing. Uh... Okay. I mentioned it to Scott and I'll share it with our guests. So I was getting ready and I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm good to go. And I was about to message Scott, be like, I'm good to go whenever you're free. And I was still in my pajamas. So <laughs> I was like, hang on, let's change. I think I've just gotten to you that know- point where I'm in my PJs all day that I don't care anymore. Yes, I know. Well, like this is the only episode, this is the only day, although I guess it's changing because I'm starting to have to venture out, but 90% of the time, I just don't do my hair. I just get up, I like wash my face, and then I just exist in just, yeah, PJs or whatever. Um, But it's Sunday. Sunday is the day where I actually put something in my hair and actually like make myself look presentable to the world. Um, yeah, so, but that's, you know, that's just how it is. Okay. Hello. We're back with, uh, <laughs> we're back with LRC. Um, oh, have LRC, have you guys ever heard of, do you guys ever watch the show, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Have you ever watched that? Yeah. Well, nice. You've all seen it. Have you guys, did you guys hear that they're rebooting it? Really? No. Are they actually? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So basically what they, but it's interesting. So if, when I first heard it, I was like, no, don't. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to, what? But what's interesting is they're rebooting it. It's not a comedy. They're rebooting it as like a serious drama. Why? Um, I don't know. But but the way it came about, the way it came about, which is kind of cool, is it was made by like a, basically an indie filmmaker. He produced like a fan kind of trailer, like like a fake trailer as if like he got actors and everything so they made this fake trailer for like this serious version of fresh prince and it went viral on youtube and will smith saw it and he thought it was so cool that he decided he's going to produce Produce it it. so yeah so like this new reboot of of fresh prince is actually being like produced and rebooted by will smith but it's going to be like a, a gritty drama so you've never heard of I, this? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> what do you guys think, uh, LRC? Would you watch this uh, gritty, rebooted version of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Um, I'd probably check it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I will say, after seeing... I mean, you guys haven't seen the trailer yet, but I th- well, after this, you should watch it. But um, I was kind of intrigued. It was... Um, I, what I don't know is if it will have the kind of legs that it can go for years and years and years. Um, but it's basically like the exact same storyline. Like, you know, he's a kid from Philadelphia. He gets beat up and his mom sends him to Bel Air and he moves in with his uncle. But instead of it being very kind of comedic and funny, it's like a pretty serious story. You know, like he gets sent to this, this private school, but he, he doesn't fit in and he's having a hard time. And then he f- joins the basketball team because he's like, it's, it's kind of the s- same storyline, but it's, it's just done in a much more serious way. But, uh, it, it, it looked pretty good. And, uh. I don't know. What do you guys? You, yeah. So you guys are kind of intrigued by the idea, Regine. You're not. You're not sure. No. Leave Fresh yeah. Prince the way that it is. It was successful because it was comedy. It was sex successful all those years. Why try to reboot it? Yeah. Well, you know, let's think. I would. I would pretty much agree with you if they were trying to bring it back, basically as the same way with just all new cast members. Because I think, especially, you know, like it, Will Smith 
obviously made that show, you know. Mm -hmm. And I and think now he's the idea making the show. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think the idea that they could kind of reboot as a, like basically the same show with a comedy with new actors and think that it would catch, um, you know, lightning in a barrel the way they did with that original cast. Um, I think that would be very, very ill-advised. But I think this kind of new version. It almost could stand alone as its own show, independent of the original. So, anyway, I'm interested. Girls, in what it, do you think? But... Well, I loved Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like as a comedy, but I think it might be cool as a drama. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like I feel like it either go like an amazing way and be like really good, or just like really bad. Yeah, you know, like mm -hmm. I'll probably check it out though. Yeah, yeah. like it'd be I like yeah. deep drama. Yeah, no. I'm into Scott, so like, um, <laughs> maybe I'll check it out, but if it's like, not really good, I'll be like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> if, if you guys don't like it, blame Scott. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it. it, but I'm the one who told you to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. But again, you should watch the trailer. Like, it's interesting how, like, you know, he gets there and then he meets Uncle Phil and Uncle Phil, like, yells at him because, you know, He's like not taking it seriously and stuff. And then he meets his new friend. He's like, hey, what's your name? Oh, I'm Jazz. Like he meets his friend Jazz. You know? <laughs> so, so it does have all the same beats that the original has. It's just played it's serious. Out. It's... Sorry? Sorry? Is it already out? I don't think so. No, I think it's... It was... It was. I only saw on Twitter that it was announced that they were remaking it. So that's why I like the trailer is out because the trailer... Like I don't even know if the trailer is going to have any of the actual actors. I don't know. I just know that... It was cool because basically like this guy that made it as far as I know, um, like he's not like a, f a famous filmmaker or anything. He just, you know, was an indie filmmaker who made this thing. And then F Will Smith not only liked it enough to want him to produce it, but he actually got that guy to actually be the one who's directing it. So uh, it's wow. a huge break for that guy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's good. But yeah, it's not out yet. I think that it must be in production right now. I'm not actually sure. But it's COVID. But, uh, How could they do that? No, like I said, things are starting to reopen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You mask up. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, like I said, wait. I was just on set. Yeah. Yeah, you you're on set. Do you get COVID tested? Yeah. So I've been t I've been I've been tested twice now for COVID because uh, I've been on actually uh, three different sets, um, but two of them um, they didn't actually one of them I can't remember if it was required or they just strongly suggested it, but I wanted for my own safety to get tested, so. Yeah, I went and got tested. In fact, it's pretty good the way they've done it. So um, you get tested and you have to send in a, a like a proof that, that you've been tested. And then on set, they've got social distancing measures in place. Like all the food is um, normally on a, on a film set. All the, all the food is like a buffet style. Um, but this time they've made everything individually packaged, um, usually with your name on it. And then everyone's wearing a mask at all times. And then on the set I was on on Saturday or Friday rather, uh, they've got um, various groups. So, like, um, what, if you're in Group A of the of the crew, then you're not allowed to be within, or you you are allowed to be close to the cast. If you're in Group B, you have to stay away from them at all times. And then everyone's always wearing masks. And then even as cast, we're all wearing masks all the time, except for when we do our scene, and then we put our masks on again. So, it was. Uh, they've got a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff in place. Yeah. So I felt I felt quite safe actually when I was on set. Uh -huh. I didn't find it to be. So I imagine if they did that, then th it'd be fine. And then actually in the U.S., certain companies have done more. Like, have you heard anything about how uh, Tyler Perry's um, production company has done it? No. Yeah, they do. Um, uh, so they pick you up from the airport, and then they drive you into like their kind of compound. You get tested there, and then they have a whole compound set up where. There's like a hotel, there's like everything, but but everybody in this area is kind of in this bubble and you have to stay there for like two weeks. And so so everybody on production basically lives in this area until the show, until production is done and then they leave. So nobody can come in and go out. So wow. there, are, there are ways you can do it, yeah. Similar to how they've been doing sports, right? Like NHL and NBA, how they're all playing mm -hmm. kind of in a closed compound. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's been good. Are, you, so are any of you guys sports fans? I am. I, yeah, I like basketball. I I was in my school basketball team for almost three, four years, almost four years. Wow. So, yeah. But since it's pandemic, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't go to the, um, yeah. the game. 
so I couldn't play. I couldn't play. Yeah, we blocked off the nets. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh really? Um, so yeah. are you girls? I guess they really. Girls... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Scott. Finish your thought. I, I wasn't gonna say. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> okay, I was gonna ask <laughs> you girls: Are you excited or nervous about? Because you guys are talking about school. Are you guys excited or nervous about going to school in a month? Well, I'm, I'm going to grade ten. Mm -hmm. um, I have a choice because I go to TDSB. I have is like one day at school, the other day online, and then like you keep switching. And then there's the other choice that like you just do full online. And I feel like I'm gonna do full online because if you go in the class and someone coughs, everyone has to get tested. Like mm -hmm. one person and a little cough, like everyone has to get tested. Yeah. How about you, girl? The other girls? I mean, I'm going to grade seven, and I'm kind of like nervous because I, I want to go back to school and I want to see my friends, but I don't want to wear a mask for so long. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um. Yeah. Uh. All my friends are going after winter break, and that's a good idea to see like how it's going. Right? Yeah. And if there's any corona cases, if there's not, I'm going back to school after winter break. So I don't mind wearing a mask at all. I dance with a mask when I go to dance class. Um, I sing with a mask. <laughs> I I like go everywhere with a mask. I could go with a mask like the whole day. But yeah, um, I don't think there's gonna be any sports this year. Mm -hmm. And also I'm going to grade eight. So I'm gonna graduate. So I really wanna be at school when I graduate. So. Mm -hmm. For me, um, I graduated this year and like we didn't do anything for our graduation, like no grad trip or anything. Um, and next year I'm starting high school, so um, I think I'm going to do the in-school option, but I'm going to an art school in Etobicoke, so my commute is like an hour, and if I'm there for an hour and a half, my commute's longer than the time I'm actually there, Yeah, which is like crazy for me. Um, but I think I'm going to do the in-school option because I'm like starting high school and like Kind of like want the experience even though it's like not gonna be the same at all i just don't want to get caught <laughs> no one does but yeah yeah it's a it's gonna be a tough uh i guess every it's a tough decision everybody's gonna have to make it's um mm -hmm. i guess you're just, just play it by ear i mean i i know that they're they're gonna probably do their best to have to obviously they want to make it safe for everybody it's just mm -hmm. uh yeah like you said i mean ideally you don't want to get it right that's it i'm the same situation i just don't don't yeah, want to get it. I feel bad for like people that are just going right like into high school into grade nine because like you have to make like new friends, you have to like, get to uh, know like the school or your classes or your teachers. I just feel like it's just really hard for grade nine to so, like. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't get like, any of that. Them get there. <laughs> some of them won't be there because Sarah's going to my school, so like on the first day of grade nine or like before we have an orientation. All the green nines come together and you like make friends and like I guess this year like you can't do it and I just feel so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for the have they told you guys like for the ones who are considering the in person option like have they said so what are they gonna do like are the are the desks gonna be really spread far apart like are they putting oh, well, the glass put up everywhere like yeah what are they doing? It's gonna be like fifteen people mm -hmm. in one class so it's not that crowded. Mm -hmm. but, there's not a lot, a lot of people like, like you know, page. and I feel I think it's just like half a day. I don't think it's for the whole day. It's actually only an hour. Yeah, it's only like so, an hour. And then wow. you do the rest online. Yeah, the system it's like kind of crazy because like it's like every other day, and when you're there, like the in person, if you choose the in person option, you're only there for an hour and a half. And like the school, like that we got, I'm going to, she already goes to. Like they have kids that like live like all across like. Like everywhere, so like the commute is going to be yeah, like very school, long. Yeah, our school, our school has like a thousand plus people, so like I don't know how like they're gonna like work that out, but I guess wow, yeah. I think people in class is just gonna be like half an hour to an hour or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I heard. So you're going I for, heard. Go oh yeah, what were you gonna say? Yeah, oh, I was I gonna say. say so I... you go in for alert. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Richie. <Richard. laughs> you literally go in for an hour and a half, is what I was gonna say. So like. Well, I don't yeah. know what do you what do you do for that hour and a half? An hour and a half every, every other day. day. I think it's like one course it's in person, and then you go home and you have to do so it's all like courses, and then yeah, the next day you just do the same the same course then. 
I guess the other day, like the same day, you go mm-hmm. do it online. But I think that um, there's gonna be like blocks, so like two courses, like you do two courses, and then like once you finish two courses, you have another two courses instead of like doing like semester. Yeah, mm-hmm. it feels like very hard because like it's on non semester. Yeah, so we usually do like all subjects like the whole entire year, but okay. completely new like course outline. I heard that you guys in high school, I don't know about elementary, there is a possibility or a chance, depending on your school board, that it could also be quad semester or, yeah, quad semester. So it'll be split, like you were saying, two courses, but you guys are going to be working really hard, um, yeah. really quickly um, on those specific courses. Yeah, I think it's going to be, I think it's just going to be like two courses at school, like if you're going in school, and then the same day when you go home, you do the other two courses online. And then the next day, you just do all four courses because you're just doing it online. And then you just oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I also heard that I think the TDSB, don't quote me on this for you who are watching, I think they're looking at doing a starter uh, start date or a later start date for you guys just so that they get the kinks um, out there and change what they need to change. So yeah. hopefully they do that for all school boards and are able to really figure out what the plan is because every day is something new on the news and I can only imagine the anxiety and the stress that you go through. Yeah, it's um, it's also interesting. I mean, it's difficult, right, for them to balance everything because on the one hand, you've got, uh, you know, we want to keep everybody safe. But on the other hand, I know that it's, it's difficult for parents who have organized their whole lives around the idea that the kids are going to be off to school so they, you know, but now you have to worry about them being home. You have to make sure there's just so much more to organize. Mm-hmm. So, but then on the, then on the flip side as well, I mean, you hear stuff out of the U S where there was like several school boards that reopened up and then within like a COVID couple of days, the yeah. first week, yeah, they just had to shut down and quarantine everybody. Cause like some kids t- tested positive. So <sighs> it's tough. This is my opinion, but I just feel like doing the online is like harder than actually doing yeah, in the class. Sure. Because like when you're in the class, it's like the teacher is like right there and they're like teaching you. But like online, it's like you don't know what to do because like yeah. yeah, some teachers don't do Skype and like it's just like you don't know what to do and like they don't really explain it well. Like I don't know. I don't know. It's it's, it's like, definitely a learning curve for teachers too. Like there's a bunch of posts online saying this yeah. is also going back into school in September is going to be like starting over in their careers as teachers. Um, So it's a learning curve for everyone. (laughs) That's for sure. So are the, the online portion, so you're saying they don't, there's, are they still going to be live classes or is it just like you get emailed your, your stuff and you just do the work? Actually, they said that like they're doing more Skype now. That's good. Okay. Like, like one of those meeting things, or like, mm-hmm. um, like Google Classrooms Google kind Classroom. of thing. Yeah, yeah. I do mostly like Skype because they they feel like most of the students in the school like have are having a hard time um, doing online. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's just better yeah. when the teachers are like online, so like you understand. And, like, mm-hmm. They're they're teaching you. So like what we're doing now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's thing. Like, like, it would be nice, exactly. Like, it's it's important to have that thing where you know the teacher could be explaining something, and then right in that moment, a student can be like, you know, sorry, what? Can you can you explain that a little? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's well, tough. Best, best of luck to all of you, and hopefully, yeah. it works out the way that you are hoping for it to work out. Especially those starting high school and those in their last year of elementary school. Um, Good luck to all you, please stay safe. And honestly, I think it'd be so smart if they did, they sent you guys all to do a COVID test before school started. And that way it's guaranteed that you guys are COVID free going in. I feel like the people that are gonna go in school and not doing online, I feel like they should get tested just in case. For sure, yeah. Yeah. And some masks don't really help and like, you know high school students like they don't really care about masks like they'll just yeah like they won't care my favorite is that that post where they say like going in if you have a kindergartner they go into school with like a superman mask and then come home with a spider-man mask oh boy yeah Yeah, i know that's the thing yeah 
Go ahead. Um, in my school for the little kids, they're 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 not wearing masks. Yeah, yeah. Grade they're fours not wearing masks. Grade, grade fours and under, they're not wearing yeah, masks yeah, because they it gets it's irritated. Optional. And also, like you know, kindergartens. I have a little brother. He plays with everybody's toys, so he might like they might put that in their mouth, and he will touch them and stuff. And he, like he, my parents don't want him going to school. Like at all, like period. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. He gets irritated with this mask easily, and also if he had, if he's touching other people's I toys, just, it could be very dangerous. I feel like grade fours and threes should have it, but twos, twos ones, and kindergarten shouldn't like be at school because they like interacting a lot with each yeah, other, exactly. and like they can't control it because they're just like little kids, you know. I feel like a grade two can can get their act together and yeah. understand and it's also up to the parents right if the parents are guiding the kids already especially way before the, when this um pandemic started if they are already talking to their kids and be like we need to wear a mask we need to stay they're already social distancing yeah. so i feel like grade two should be grade two and up should all be wearing masks because they're already wearing masks when they go out yeah but as soon as they're old enough to kind of understand <laughs> yeah yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Uh, maybe just say hi to the people who are stopping in. S R the Amen. You're speaking another language. I don't know what you're saying, but hello, welcome to the show. We're, we're interviewing <laughs> LRC, uh, Skullboy Gamer. Hello there. What's going on, Skullboy welcome Gamer? Welcome back. Uh, Welcome. Uh, Alba up. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Alone Rain watching on DLive. Hi. How are you? Welcome. And Malik Pasture is in here as well. Hi. What's up, Malik? We're uh, everybody who's just tuning in. We are chatting with a uh, 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 recently formed um, <laughs> pop group by the name of LRC. And we're just chatting about uh, a variety of things, music and so on. And uh, of course, because it's in so much of our lives, we've also been chatting about uh, this pandemic we're having to go through um yeah it's uh I, all i can say is i'm pretty glad i, I don't have to deal with with school anymore school I mean, same yeah same. i mean it's just i mean the, the problem with it is and, and also even just being a teacher is it's like you know before this you were just being asked to come in and you know you teach the kids and you do your job and all this stuff but now there's this there's this whole other risk whereas it's like you're being asked to go in and do what you have to do, but there's always this thing at the back of your mind that, yeah, I mean, you know, there's kind of this uh, this risk, this thing that could happen that you just kind of yeah. have to hope doesn't, you know? I feel like so. you just have a choice. Like, if the principal asks them to do it, I feel like they don't have a choice. Um, they do. Some of them do. So my fiance is actually a teacher. So he um, he's a high school teacher. So he gets the ins and outs and updates all the time on what's going on or what could be going on. Um, so they do have a choice if they are, say, an older teacher who's close to retirement and they are, of course, um, at risk, then they can say, you know what, I choose not to work this year or they can choose to opt into online teaching. Um, so the school boards are just like any other workplace where if you are high risk or if you don't feel safe, then you can opt in to working from home. Bless you. <laughs> uh, it's still, yeah, it's still not an ideal situation. Oh, they, you, they answered this earlier, Malik, but I'll let them answer again because Malik just got here. He just asked, what does LRC stand for? Our last name. Yeah. It's so, all of our last names together. Yeah. So uh, Sarah starts with L, mine starts with R. And, and R starts with C, yeah. but we just put one instead of two. Yeah. So it makes it short. Yeah. So... So it's their last names, first letter of their last names, but two of them have C, and so they didn't want to be L R C C, <laughs> or, or, or I mean, I guess they could have put it in any order. Point is, they decided to use the two C's as one L R C. They could have been C L R C. <laughs> But, this uh, sounds oh, like that cleaning says, product. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Probably don't want to be CLR. I mean, no. <laughs> unless it's like it's like we keep we make the cleanest sounds, the cleanest music. There we get we rid go. of all of the. We get rid of all the Gunk. calcium, lime, and 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 rust. <laughs> I think that's what CLR says. I think it's right. rust. Yeah, I think rust. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. So LRC LRC makes more sense. LRC mm -hmm. makes more sense. So there you go, Malik. Now you know. Now you know. 
Um, uh, uh, well, talking to the girls again yeah. about music. Yes. Um, so you girls have been performing together for a few years, like singing together for a few years, and now starting your own band. What is your vision for LRC? Like, where do you want to see you guys or you girls going? Um, well, recording a lot of originals. Yeah. And performing live um, a lot. Having like an album. Ha- album. Having about like 10 albums. <laughs> a lot of albums. Maybe mm-hmm. touring, having your own tour, be able to like perform mm-hmm. in Canada or even like worldwide and be able to share our music with other people. Awesome. So in five years, you guys, they'll be touring across the world. But remember, you saw them here first on the sit down. <laughs> That's right. Do you guys, um, I know you guys all sing, obviously. Any of you guys play uh, musical instruments as well? Yes, yes we all no. do. So I play the piano, guitar, ukulele. I play the ukulele. I play the guitar, piano, ukulele. I play the guitar, piano, ukulele. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh yeah. Drums. Do you think? Oh, and I'm te- I'm learning violin. <laughs> wow. Oh, awesome. So, do you think you guys would? Uh, when I mean, I know mostly you perform it. You're singing. Would you be? Would you okay. play live instruments in performance as well, or is, are you planning yeah, more just to uh, sing? Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Like, more like performing, yeah. dancing on stage, singing, yeah. interacting, what. So are you all trained in dance as well? Yeah. Nice. Cool. I want to be in a girl you're, you're... band. It's not too late, Regine. It's not too late. I don't dance and I don't sing. I think it's a little too late. For... <laughs> <laughs> well, you take take you, you learn that and then it's not too late to learn how to do that. And then after that, you join the girl group. Can I be part of LRC? Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Perfect. Uh, LRCS. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Down. That works. <laughs> yeah. LRCS. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. There you go. There you go, Regine. As soon as you, as soon as you learn how to, as soon as you've learned uh, dancing and singing, there's a spot waiting for you at LRC. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> and I guess when that's you play, awesome. I, I guess. Playing musical instruments probably makes it easier to write songs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we always like yeah. play the ukulele, find the chords, and then um, and then that's how we figure out our lyrics. Because sometimes we write the songs where we have lyrics and then we find the chords, or sometimes we write the songs that we find good chords and then make lyrics on top of the yeah. chords. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So what what prompted all of you? Pretty much all of you guys play the ukulele. Uh, ukulele is pretty popular. What prompted you guys to want to learn the ukulele? Oh, I don't know. Grace I, just, well. <laughs> I just well, so wanted to try something new because, like, I was kind of like getting tired of like people playing the like, piano and guitar. So I just wanted to like try something new. And I just thought of ukulele, and then gave my mom to on the play about ukulele. Yeah, I'm still learning how to play it though. Like it's in the making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I just wanted to just, like start learning how to do it for fun, and now I do it like a lot. Especially like for performances or writing songs, I need to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, like all my friends have ukulele, so I'll be like the only one playing piano. So I'm like, I took a little ukulele and I saw like their fingers on the chords, so I'm like, okay, I'll try it like an A minor. And then I started playing Reptile. I'm like, what am I playing? Like, what are the chords I'm playing? <laughs> I didn't know how to play ukulele. And then I searched online like chords. I know how to play like almost 20 different songs so like wow yeah Yeah. i've been playing piano most of my life um but then um there's this girl in america got talent and she has this golden buzzer and then she like sings like cute song weekly and i was like wait like i'll try it (laughs) that's awesome (laughs) so besides uh... me go ahead oh no i was gonna say it's like it's just a it's like a tiny little guitar yeah Yeah, it's a baby guitar really didn't add anything didn't add anything to the conversation, but um. Anyway, what were you gonna say, Regine? <laughs> I was gonna ask the girls. I know you guys are all so busy because I follow you all on social media. So, besides music and besides dance and instruments, what else are you guys working on? What are you guys up to? I know, Althea, you are very busy with a bunch of your other projects. So, what about all of you? Right now, um, just trying to like. 
still like in the pandemic like i don't have dance anymore mm -hmm. i i dance competitively but um it stopped um it's actually the summer and for me uh, i do acting too so like when it like opened it like opened opened and for like two weeks i like self-taped like almost every single day like zoom calls wow so like it was like fun to like be able to like first like not have any auditions and i was like oh no we're just like every single day it's like crazy <laughs> i don't think i'm allowed to say anything <laughs> no worries no worries yeah um, how, how did you oh sorry go 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 yeah <laughs> well yeah i have like pageants and i do acting also so i have a lot of auditions for nickelodeon disney channel and i also do i used to do background acting but um now i'm focused on like main characters and like tv shows movies and also yeah i um i model too so i have a lot of photo shoots and pageants cool so you guys have so for the ones who have been doing acting, so you, have you had to do any in-person auditions, or has it all been online, self tapes, and uh, and uh, Zoom calls? Very strict. So they said um, they said like until this pandemic is over, you can do in person. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. How have you found it? How do you like the Zoom call audition? Did you like it? I, I, I did one for this um, film and um, it was like 30 minutes late. So I was just like in the waiting room and I was like, because <laughs> like I was in the Zoom waiting room and I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Like, when do I go on? And then it was on and like, it was kind of glitching. Like, they just like, as you said, they're like, start now. And then like, at a reader and I didn't know where to look. First of all, I was like, who's the reader? <laughs> and then after, um, like it was okay, but I definitely prefer in-person auditions. Yeah, it's it's yeah, that's the thing. The technology's there, but they're still figuring it out. And yeah, what I didn't what I didn't like it it was hard for me because I was distracted by the glitchy technical side. It was hard for me to like focus on like your performance and getting into character. So, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it myself, but you know, that's how it is. But um, I, I don't mind doing self-tapes though. Like, so people who don't know, self-tapes is when you, they send you the script in advance and you just basically record it and send it off. Um, what do you guys think? Do you prefer self-tapes or in-person auditions? Self-tapes, because when I mess up, I can do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smart. I kind of like in-person auditions. I just think they're different. And like, for me, like when I have an in-person audition, like I kind of get like a reaction like from like the director. So like. I don't know, I feel like after an in-person audition, like I had, I kind of like get a sense like if I'm gonna like get a call back or not. For me, like it's a little clear, but sometimes like you never know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, because you, you can, when you're actually in the room, you get a feel of um, who they are as people as well a little bit, and you can see, you can kind of read whether they like you or not, kind of, yeah. yeah. Like there are times when I walk into an audition, then you leave, and you're like, okay, that was terrible. But the other yeah. times you're like, yes, I so I nailed that. I could tell he liked it. And yeah. I, what I didn't like is this: these Zoom ones. They're very. You, it's really, really hard to gauge. So yeah, just um, I prefer the in-person as well. Even though I agree, um, the self tapes are better in that I, I can do a million takes and just send them the best one. Yeah. So there's they're different things, but yeah, that's <laughs> how it goes. Yeah, like it's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> When I audition for like a comedy movie or TV show, um, you know how directors are supposed to be like have a straight face and stuff, they're supposed to be serious sometimes. Um, <laughs> it was kind of funny because I, I had like I was making like these funny faces, and then he started dying. He started just laughing, and I, I could have said laughing because he was laughing. So it, it was like kind of weird, but at the same time, it's fun. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you get the role? Yeah. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Nice. It was in the Awesome, summer. awesome, awesome. So, yeah, I got almost three. No, not three. <laughs> I got, like, callbacks. Like, yeah. Nice. Sweet. Well, good luck to all of you girls. Clearly, Thanks. you're all so successful in what you're doing. And hopefully, when dance starts up again, that you're, you'll be able to go to your competitions. But... Gee, Scott, they're so young, and I told you, they're so talented. I'm so glad we got you yeah. on this show. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome, and that's the that's the other thing. Again, I mean, even this even this show, like we're doing it, you know, over Skype, 
and I love that we're able to continue doing the show, but like even what we've seen it several times during the show that light that slight delay where like somebody talks and then oh it's all right and that happens like a million mean, times every episode you mean scott like talking that. over everyone <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> exactly yes so uh, that's the other thing i also miss is just being able to do this show um with people in studio like i would love you know when we open up again we'd love to have you guys back and uh in person in studio you guys can sing live in the proper setup and and just uh, have a real conversation in a room with with other human beings. That'd be that that would be nice. But uh, we make do. Do you guys? Um, uh, you, you know, we should probably. Let, where, where can people find you guys before we sort of wrap things up? Where 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 can people find more about LRC? Yeah, you can find us on all social media at LRC.music and music platforms. Um, just LRC with all capitals. Perfect. And do you guys want to do your own personal socials? Sure. So mine is Altea, A-L-T-H-E-A, Justine, J-U-S-T-I-N-E, underscore official. Yeah. And mine's Cassia, C-A-S-S-I-A, dot official. Mine's Vocals by Ricky. <laughs> um, and mine's Sarah Lake, with no H, S-A-R-A-L-A-K-E, underscore official. Perfect. Cool. And I'll, um, you know, if you guys can um, send me all of those individually, like I'll, I'll add them to the video description down below. So if you're watching live, they're not there yet. But if you're watching this after, they're probably all down there. Because I think right now I just have the LRC one down there, lrc.music. But, but I'll you add all your individual ones if you want me to. Yes. And if you guys yeah. follow us on Instagram, I've tagged them in our photos. So you'll be able to find them there as well. I'm ahead Perfect. of you, Scott. Don't you guys <laughs> All right, good. Excellent. I'll get them for you as well. Um, do you guys have any final thoughts, any final things you'd like to say to our viewing audience before we wrap things up? Like, stay tuned for our cover. Check our cover. Today. Um, today. Make sure to check it out. Um, and just, like, stay Cool. Like, Feature. Our original, all our platforms. Right. Turn on your post notifications so you know when you post and what's going on with LRC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Add, add Selfish add Selfish by LRC to all of your playlists, Spotify, all that stuff. And uh, follow them online. Lots more to come from these guys. Lots more to come from these guys. Yeah. And also, I keep forgetting to say it. Smash the like button on this video, everybody, if you're enjoying the show. Smash like, smash like, smash like. Um, uh, Regine, where can people find you? You guys can find me on YouTube. Scott has put the link in the description. So please subscribe. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please like them. And if you have any recommendations on what I should be doing, DM me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at It's Regina Lena. Um, and you guys can also follow my pageant journey, which is still continuing. It's the Ms. Galaxy Canada page. That's MS Galaxy Canada on Facebook and Instagram. Where can they find you, Scott? You can find me right here where you're watching this very video. YouTube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. Uh, you can also find me on Twitch.tv slash Scott Dion Brown or uh, DLive.tv slash Scott Dion Brown. Also, you can follow me here on Instagram and Twitter, also at Scott Dion Brown. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok if TikTok's going to be around anymore. But uh, at Scott Dion Brown Official. I haven't, I've only posted two things on there, but. Um, if that app doesn't go away, I'll probably post something eventually. Anyway, I'm there. But best best place is right here on YouTube. And please smash that like button if you're enjoying the stream and put on the bell button and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And you know guys, you, you guys, you guys all know how it works. But um yes, oh Malik says, Regina Lena, I subbed to you and Scott already. Thank you, Malik. Thank you. Appreciate that, dude. And I just uh, shout out to you. Thanks for being here. You mentioned yep. TikTok. I want to give a huge shout out to Cindy with an S. She went viral on TikTok yesterday. Um, I believe she posted a video of her celebrating her 30th birthday in New Orleans and is now over 100. I want to say like she's probably well, she's probably at like 150K views already and it's only been 24 hours. So huge shout out to Cindy with an S. So go follow her on TikTok. Cool. Shout out to you, Cindy with an S, friend of the show. Yes. Um, she was our first guest in the new studio, right? For season two. 
Incredible. Shout out to you, Cindy, with an S. Malik Pastor says, I'll follow them. So Malik's going to follow uh, LRC. Thanks, Malik. Appreciate yeah. you, dude. Yeah, there you go. Here, guys, say hi to Malik. Hi, Malik. There you go. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I guess I guess um, it's been, well, it's been like almost an hour and a half. So um, that's good stuff. I guess we'll wrap we'll wrap things up. Hey, uh, hey everybody. Everybody. Yes. But like I said before, right. if these girls go, well, not if, when these girls blow up in five years, remember you saw them here first. You're yes. welcome. Make sure you follow them. Their journey is amazing. Their story is amazing. And what they stand for is amazing. Follow them, support them. And like Scott said, add them to your playlist. Thank you. Exactly. And uh, oh, Malik says hi back. Awesome. All right. Peace out, everybody. Okay. We're going to say good night or good day. What time? Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> So you say? You say good night. Good, afternoon. Yeah. good night, everybody. Well, I am gonna go lay down, but uh, but it's not really nighttime, at least not in this part of the world. But um, happy guys, Sunday you could have happy Sunday fun day, exactly, ladies and gentlemen. You could have gone anywhere in the world, or maybe not. Maybe you can't go outside, but the internet. You could have gone anywhere. You could have watched any video. You could have gone to any link, but you chose to click the link in uh the uh lrc.musics uh instagram uh, profile description and came here <laughs> to watch this video so guys thank you so very much for tuning in we so appreciate it smash that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button and also please follow lrc music um on uh insta and all those platforms check them out follow regine and uh yeah i guess we're gonna say uh we're gonna say goodbye so guys thank you so much for being here Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. You're very welcome. Yeah. We'll hope to have you guys in the studio when we reopen. Yeah. Love to when you when you're uh, when you got some new stuff out, some original music. I'm looking forward to seeing it and hearing it. And uh, good stuff. All right. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Um, tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>